Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another uh, fun-filled episode of God of War 2. I apologize for not making the... Well, I had plans to record like almost every day last week, but unfortunately some things came up. Uh, might as well keep you guys in the loop about it. Uh, Monday, I didn't record. Anna came over. Tuesday, I had the day off, so I didn't record. Wednesday, I was wanting to record, however... Uh, I got a phone call from my sister Tuesday night-ish about uh, when we were going to spread my dad's ashes. And sure enough, you know, y year anniversary of his death is when we decided to do it, which happened to be Wednesday. So I wasn't able to do it then. Had Thursday off, so didn't record. Then Friday, planned on recording and having a gay old time. But I didn't because uh, I'm a gamer first, obviously. And... There was an opportunity to play some Guitar Hero Metallica with some friends of mine, and I just jumped at it. Me and Architect, we uh, we played some GH5 first, and then Metallica, and then I realized how good Guitar Hero Metallica was, and I'm like, well, I've got some achievements here that I need to get, and this I'm in the zone right now. So, spent all night Friday night playing, and uh, yesterday, like what's today, Saturday. Yeah, was it Thursday or Friday? I think I think I had Thursday off. Anyway, one of the days I decided to just uh, work on the achievements, and I did. God, I had to learn the the bass riff to fight fire with fire, and there's achievement related to beating getting a certain score on fire with fire on base and dude I, I was thinking I, I I remember trying it a long time ago and then putting it down and then when I picked it up again I had forgotten why I put it down and I started playing it you know it's got that really simple intro that dun 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 dun, dun like just really simple stuff I'm like why'd I put this down this is this is easy and then the song starts you know dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> and the bass is doing all that crazy stuff and it's so weird it took me forever I, I went into practice it took me probably two or three out well i know that's not forever especially compared to how long it took me to get the high score on through the fire and the flames um but yeah like it, i just couldn't get the rhythm i mean that, that's the whole point right it's a hard rhythm and uh eventually i got it and uh, you know, scored about I think twenty thousand points higher than what was needed, or well, probably not twenty more, probably like ten. But it was man. So I did that in one day, and I did the creeping death one in one day. And creeping death isn't hard. the The problem with creeping death is you pretty much have to hundred percent the song. I had to get I got ninety nine percent on expert, and I only beat it by maybe five thousand points, and it it was ridiculous. Um. But it's not hard. It's just it's kind of tricky. I don't know if it's the way it, for you guys as it was for me with guitar and Metallica. But I had to. It seemed like everything I did, I had to hit every note early, and that really screws with your hammer-ons and your pull-offs. And I, I don't know. It just seemed it's just like I had to keep it at the forefront of my mind. All right, I need to hit this just, a little, just, just everything. Just strum it a little bit early, a little bit early. And it's a long song. It's about an eight-minute song or something like. That. Probably seven minutes. Anyway. So I did that, totally skipped out on recording then, but today, it is Saturday, and I, all day, all I wanted to do was just like, man, I want to go home, I want to do some yeah, Guitar Hero, some God of War, and have a good time. But, therein lies the problem. What was I doing? <sighs> okay, welcome back to God. There is, um... Okay. Yes, I did that. Okay. Ah! Okay. Yes. I remember killing that guy now. He had it coming. Freaking turning invisible and... Why can't I... Can I grab him? Can I... Excuse me. Am I supposed to... Um... Hello? Excuse me? I think I'm supposed to. I'm probably supposed to use his body somehow. Okay, hang on a second. There's nothing. Is there anything that I can. Well. I 
I was talking to Reese about this game today, about how uh, I was always worried about picking up the new God of War because the new God of War isn't like the old God of War, and that's what I'm worried about it. What in the world? Um, okay, I remember we killed that guy up here, and then we just jumped. How high does this go? By the now that I'm thinking about it, how high? Uh, can I just break that, please? Or is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? No! Okay, let's uh try to climb this thing, please. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. It's got that little notch up there. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot it. But then again, it makes me think, why would I do that? when I got all this, uh, like I could run out of magic at any time here. Alright, let's see, uh, where's the, uh, no! This one. Um, well, I see the, um, the magic thing there, um, I like um like I can't target this thing. Okay. Um uh, I am stuck. I do want to know how high this thing goes though. That is the question on everybody's lips right now. Am I supposed to jump into that thing's mouth, maybe? Can't target this guy. I'm, I know I'm supposed to use his body for something, but I, I don't know what. Um, like it's. Didn't I get like a piece of something of his? The shield, right? Like I got, I got the shield. Okay, I'm sure that's what I'm supposed to use. Something to that effect. Uh, I'm sorry about this. I am not prepared when it comes to this game whatsoever. Um, items, blade. What did I get from him? I was tried in amulet of faith. No, not that. Golden fleece. Nope. That's not what I got. That. What did I get from him? Well, this is fantastic. Um, am I supposed to, like... Let me take a look around here. Maybe there's something somewhere that I can move or... Or maybe this is where the game ends. Maybe that's, maybe that's the way that is, you know? Like, this is exactly what they want you to think. Probably not. More than likely. Let's watch some other videos too. Um, you know, what, what was over here? I, I remember kind of going back. Through, um, I don't think I need to go back through. Well, if I could figure this out, I would. I would like to start the story, but. Um. Why is it that I... Oh, it I can't. Like, I don't... I need to shock him? Will that work? Um, no, not that. Oh, I got it. I turn him to stone. That's it. How do I do it? There we go. Ah, yes. Sucks to be you. Is it working? No, it's not. All right. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this up because I I don't know what to do. So 
That's what I get for waiting so long and coming back. I don't even know what this guy's name is. Four, two, was it like uh, Artemis or something? I've... <laughs> Why do I suck so much? Um, <laughs> invisible dude. There we go. First one. Self, God of War, Invisible Man. Perseus! Why did I forget that? Perse... I don't know how to spell it. Perseus... Puzzle. Wait, shield? What? I thought he gave me a shield. How do I use it, though? Okay, yes, I know that. Okay, I've done the Perseus thingy. Alright, after you win the battle, you'll get the shoot. Right! So I have chain back to the corner. Approach the statue on the right side of the upper level. Hit it if you then place the shield on it. Oh! No! Oh, no! It was so simple! Dang it! Now, why would it even be the option to, like, talk to Perseus, though? Or, not talk to him. Okay, this isn't gonna stay up though. Like I know that. She's not gonna. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What is the point? Don't at least deflect the projectiles, Blake. Yeah, right. Right. I get that. But like that—that that doesn't help me right now. Um. Okay, that thing is stuck there, big time. All right, I wonder if I screwed up, like, big time. Can I do anything now with him? <sighs> Man, this is, this is, this is uh, not fun. Because I don't know what to do. Okay, let me think about this. I know I got the guide right here, but I'm not. Gonna give up that easy. I just I didn't think about that giving the shield to the thing. Okay, I understand the deflection thing. Like I, I get that. Oh. Well now I definitely get how to do it now. It was just like that, you know, it's a good thing I went to high school or else I may not be able to figure that out without the internet. This is like definitely a time thing. This is about deflection, which is something I know a great deal about. Oh, how's them laser beams inside your eye feel? Sucks to be a statue, don't it? Dude, we did it. Oh my goodness. We only had to use the internet once and we done did it. Can I have that shield back? I would like to have that shield back. That's a nice looking shield. That shield is the shield of the ages. I need to get that magic, by the way, before I get myself killed. Because I know I'm going to. It's only a matter of time. Like that one Aerosmith song. Can I just like play with this? Okay, I can. Sad face. So, uh, now I can finish that story. I was watching this uh, YouTuber that I've never heard of. I watch a lot of YouTube, but I rarely ever pay attention because anything that's monetized can be controlled and I don't I try not to take too much stock in what a lot of YouTubers say but anyway the thing is uh, I was watching this guy Jay Aubrey I think his name is he was doing a like a retrospective of what happened to to Buskis's channel and he, he pretty much said, you know, the rape allegations was what did it. And I will admit, like, it was bad timing. But I personally think uh, Toby's style of comedy was just being phased out, unfortunately. I still think it's funny. I still like his content. I don't watch him regularly. But then again, I don't watch individual YouTubers regularly. I, I usually, I mostly just watch meme compilations at this point and like the occasional top 10 video, but nothing like nothing specific. Uh, but when I, when I was saying that, I was thinking 
one of the points he made was like the inevitability of a YouTube channel closing and you're supposed to use YouTube as a launch pad for your career it's not supposed to be a lifetime thing and I was thinking to myself and after that video end I, you know I was thinking about it and then I come up on the suggested suggested videos was a live performance of Master of Puppets by Metallica at some place somewhere. Anyway, it just posted four days ago. I'm looking at it right now. From uh, Yeah, June 18th, 2019. It's when the concert was somewhere. I don't know. And I, I was asking myself... At what point do you stop doing what you're doing? And I'm looking at this, I'm watching this concert, this performance of Master. And these guys are 50, 60 years old. They're playing in an open stadium with no roof. It is raining on them. And they are just ripping on the guitar, drums, bass. Like the song is just, the intensity is there. It is good. It sounds amazing. And it made me ask myself, at what point do you stop? And the answer is, you don't. You keep going when you find something you love. So, you know, if Toby wants to make whatever videos he wants to make, like, yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, it, his channel has tanked. I like his content. I like him. I think he's funny. I, I think he's a good guy. I don't never met him, but, you know. If you're doing what he loves, I want him to keep doing that. Same way Metallica. They're still playing the music they love when so many people would say, oh, you know, you know, I started with Metallica and then, you know, just developed into this and now I don't listen to Metallica anymore. How do you think Metallica feels playing the same music they wrote 30, 40 years ago? Like, it, it probably crossed their mind at some point to change, but then they realized that that was poison to who they really were. So they didn't do it. So I... Same, and then it then it came back around and it applied. Oh, I knew that was coming. Then it applied to me, right? Um, at what point do I move on for making let's plays? And as of right now, no plans to. Don't want to. Having fun, you know, but. You know, it's not good enough for some people, and that's just but that's just the condition of the world, man. Like, no matter, no matter what you do, it's never gonna be good enough for anybody. So I don't even. I try to not let that stuff bother me anymore. I hate it. I do. Can I swim in this? I try not to let it bother me, but then I worry about other people's ability to withstand other people's criticism. Even if they're in the right, you know, it just, it just, it just gets next to me, man. Because some people, I'm not going to say they're weak. That's not really the right word. They've just never really been exposed. And there's no way they can have defenses against something that they've never come in contact with. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Toby foreseen what issues were, were going to happen with him or whatever and then you got people that literally just use what happened to him to make money on their own and I, I, don't, I, I don't know <laughs> yeah, I, just, I worry about people that's my thing I, I can't help it hello I can't help it um mm. okay well, this is interesting to say the least can't use that here. Probably got to open that door first. So yeah, I mean, if, if anybody's going to take away anything from these videos, you know, some kid is like, oh, I'm so confused about my life. What do I do, Sam? Find what you love and then let it kill you. Somebody said that to me the other day and I couldn't help but to think how right they were. If you die doing what you loved, you lived the best life you possibly could. That is 
I believe that wholeheartedly, and I think a lot of people get too caught up in making money. And what am I doing? They get too caught up in making money and doing things in their life and they don't stop to think about their personal interests and how important it is. You acquired the Spear of Destiny. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to Constantine. That reminds me of another story I've been wanting to tell for a long time. Everybody knows the movie Devil's Advocate starring Keanu Reeves and... Uh, I wonder if this spear is any good, like... Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Much rather use the Blades of Chaos, but at some point that spear... That spear is gonna have something, like some ability attached to it that I'm gonna have to use. Um... So the movie Devil's Advocate, it's got... Al Pacino, Keanu Reeves in it. It's about this uh, this lawyer whose dad's the devil. He doesn't find it out till like the very end of the movie. And uh, very good movie, by the way. Very '90s. And I really like it. But Keanu Reeves was also in a movie called Constantine, which I think is one of his better movies. Um, I mean, everybody loves The Matrix and John Wick, but I really bonded with him over Constantine. And, well, I say that like I know him, but anyway, I like Constantine, but I was thinking to myself, okay, both of these movies deal with supernatural elements, Satan, God, uh, heaven and hell stuff, and that's great. I love movies like that, but it, it was weird because Keanu Reeves played both characters, and in both movies, the devil was a big part in Constantine the devil himself wasn't really the biggest deal but he was always like this force in the back because the whole movie it's like leading up to this point with Satan where he's the John is the only soul he would come up from hell to collect himself because of all the demons he sent back to hell it's fantastic right but I was thinking like what if like just say what if in some Reality. Now, I've got nothing against the guy that played the devil in Constantine. I think he did a really good job. I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but he was the guy that played the Russian, I think, in, or the Russian guy from Bad Boys 2. I think. I'm probably wrong on that. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, hang on. But yeah, that was the same guy. I think it was. God, I hate to be wrong about that, but I think it is. Anyway, if they had gotten Al Pacino to do the devil in Constantine, D Constantine would have been like a sequel to Devil's Advocate. And that, like, whenever I made that connection, like, if they would have just changed that one actor, it would have been like a spiritual successor to that movie. Like, everything in the world was beautiful for that second like everything just made sense but they didn't and it's I don't even think anybody thought about it but man like, just think about how good that movie would have been it just it just blows my mind oh, I mean they're still great movies they're still fantastic movies but they could have been connected they were so close to being connected so like every time I watch Constantine, Constantine or Devil's Advocate, I just I like to think in my mind that they're like sequels of each other or in another reality. I, I imagine it would do like the Van Helsing thing in the Van Helsing movies when or movie with Hugh Jackman of how Van Helsing has been around for hundreds of years, but like he keeps getting passed down in the generations. Like he goes through the same fights with like Dracula and stuff every generation. Apply that to Constantine and Devil's Advocate. Like, John Constantine is the Devil's son from Devil's Advocate, which is why he's able to fight these demons and why he's able to, like, uh, do whatever he did with the cat to go to hell. And to, it's like, it would, exp it, like, they go hand in hand, and that's what's so beautiful about it. Just, ah, depending on which universe you'd want to put the other one in, like Devil's Advocate Universe or Constantine Universe, just make them 
related and the that just fixes everything like i will let go all the bad movies from the last couple of years that have ever released if uh oh okay i see what this if somebody somewhere that's over both of those movies will just say yeah they were both in the same thing Oh, it's, oh, it sticks. It didn't stick last time. It did not, and that is confusing. So I just, I'm, man, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, wait, I could probably walk this thing out. Hang, hang on a second here. Yeah, I can definitely move this. Yeah, that's what the game wants me to do to get back there. Oh, I can't do anything with this. Oh, I can, I can make that run, though. I don't know if I can make that run. Let me. Oh, that'd be kind of tough. Well, maybe. If I get it, like... Yeah. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely can, dude. I just gotta get it turned the right way. Um, I think I just needed to have it face the door. Like, heck yeah, man. I remember... Oh, wait, excuse me? Excuse me? Did I tell you to get off this ride? I did not. Thank you. So yeah, it's a... Uh, that's one of the things that I've always thought about being one of the coolest cinematic things. Next to the ending of Freddy vs. Jason just being... Uh, uh, having Pinhead be the... What did I say? Please don't. I don't want to knock this thing in the... How far back can I go? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got that all day and half the night, man. Oh, my goodness. Freaking masterful execution of time manipulation. Boy. Oh, earn of limbs activate during bonus play to receive a special. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I like it though. It makes me all tingly inside. I can do that. And yeah, now I need to turn that statue the other way. Sorry, it took me 30 minutes to figure that out. Between having figuring out how to shut the eyes off and turn this statue around. Right. I was talking to Reese today about. God. Well, I've already mentioned that. But talking about how I'm afraid to jump into the new God of War because um, I, I'm afraid of the deviation. I think I mentioned that in another episode. I'm sorry if I repeat myself. I I don't know what I say from one video to the next, and so it's it's bound to to be a situation where I say the same thing over and over. But that's how it goes sometimes. All right, now that should do it. Get me out of this area and on to greener pastures, please. Thank you. Does anybody remember Cartoon Planet? I was telling Anna about that, uh, about the show the other day, or just yesterday, I think. And I told her how, like, I had forgotten about it. I'd saw seen an episode of Cartoon Planet a very, very long time ago, and I mean very long time ago. And oh this is this is nerve wracking. Amazing too. Oh what no! Why is the press probably the easiest one to do? It was falling straight for Anyway, I was explaining to her there used to be this show called Cartoon Planet. Before there was Space Ghost and the Brack show, there was Cartoon Planet. And I told her that I had bought every season of the Brack Show, which is only two, and then I'm trying to get every season of Space Ghost together. But what I didn't realize was 
I was looking for episodes and DVDs of Cartoon Planet, but they don't make them. There is no box set of Cartoon Planet. Well, there is, but it's kind of shady where it's coming from, and I don't really trust it. So, like, I told her that I'm in this situation where I gotta make a decision. Like, do I go to YouTube, and then do I download every episode of Cartoon Planet, and then put and then put them on a thumb drive, and then put the thumb drive in, like, a DVD case, so, like, whenever I wanna watch them, I'll just pop them into the PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, and then play them off of that. Or do I burn them all to DVDs and that way I have like DVD copies of Cartoon Planet and I don't I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, we're up to time. Thank you for watching, ladies. I'm gonna keep our keep your cats and kittens in the next episode. But absolute pleasure, keep it real and peace.